What's up guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, I will cover all the new features of Filmora 13.6. Okay, so new feature, new interesting feature in the program. By the way, in my opinion, to be honest, I don't think this is a good update because there is only one impressive new feature, that is the AI object removal. Other feature is something like promotion or bad effect you need to to pay more or you need to buy film stock subscription to get by the way i will show you all the new features so you can make the decision yourself and if you want to use filmora i will put the link in the description for you and if you want to purchase the license of filmora don't forget to use my affiliate links in the description to support my channel okay and i also have some special discount coupon code for you Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. So first thing first, you need to upgrade to this latest version right inside the program. Okay, just click help and then check for update and you have the new version. These are all the new features of the program. There are six new features inside the program. By the way, not all of them are useful, okay? Okay, and this is Filmora 13.6 and you see here, I have an example timeline. And let me show you something. So this is the video, you see, I have a, a microphone right here, but now with Vimora 13.6, I can remove the microphone and also replace the background with the AI object removal. So this is before and this is after. Okay, so let's play the video. So you see that it removed the microphone. Okay, and this is the first example and another example, you see that I have a dock here, it is for my mobile phone and I also remove it with the AI object removal in Filmora, so this is before and this is after, okay, you can play, you see it removed the dock right here and I can remove myself also, so this is the video, uh, no, this is the video. Okay, let me show you my talking head video. Okay, so this is my talking head video. You see, I have me here in front of the screen and I can also remove myself here also. So this is before we have many and this is after. After I use the AI object okay. removal. We have many applications. So it becomes something like this. But I try to remove this thing and come up with another clip here so remove all the background Nowadays, also so here we have many applications you see okay so let me show you how to use the AI object removal okay just delete everything on the timeline first and now for example if you want to remove the a moving object myself for example okay i can remove myself here i can select the video here on the timeline and we have another option here AI object removal, we can just click here and be mentioned that this tool is only for less than one minute video. Okay, remember, it's less than one minute video. Otherwise, it will take very long to remove the object. Okay, the next thing we have a brush. So this is the brush side and this is the brush and this is the eraser. So now we need to use the brush. Okay, I can increase the size of the brush and then I can paint the area where I want to remove. Okay, in this case, it is me inside the video. Okay, so if you make some mistake like this, you can use the eraser here. So use the eraser to erase the thing here. So it's similar to the smart cutout in Filmora 13. Okay, so we can do like this. And now it mark myself in the video. And now you can click here to remove. By the way, this is just a tracking step. So now if you click remove, it will track the object inside the video. And we mentioned that you can mark multiple objects in the video. For example, I can remove this microphone also. So I can do the same, just use the brush. Okay, so we have two things here to remove. Myself and the microphone. And we need to correct this a little bit. Okay, and now we can click remove. And now preview object tracking. It will just track the object inside the video. And after that, it will come back to Filmora timeline to remove the object. Okay, and it will take a lot of time. If you have a longer clip like two minutes or three minutes or stuff like that. Okay, so remember to use this feature 
for the the video that it has less than one minute duration. Okay, okay, and now it go back to my femoral timeline, and it is removing the object task number two. If we have another clip and we use the AI object removal again, it will be task number two, and we still need to wait until it finished. Okay, we cannot do anything right now, so just be patient and wait for it. Two thousand years later. Okay, and now it's finished, and it removed my cell and the microphone here, and this is the result. So I can play. Yeah, I think for me it is very impressive because it can track my body and remove me, and also replace with a background. So it. I think it's good because it's just AI. Okay. By the way, this is the first new feature in Filmora 13.6, and the next new feature is something that they call smart search, or something that is for for searching inside the media. And I have no idea, and I still don't understand. Don't understand this new feature because they they say that it can understand our video. For example, if you have a video and you have dialogue in the video, and you can search it, search for it. So let me show you. About this, okay. So uh, right inside the media, so you go to folder and you have two options for searching the media here. For example, you have the default and uh, smart. So if we, you turn on smart, then you can search for maybe something. For example, here I have a video. It's me talking about how to edit video on mobile phone. So I can play the video for you. Hello, 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 hello. Something like this. Okay, and I talk about application, for example. And now, at the search box here, we can yeah, type application. So it's something like the content of your video. Okay, we can search, and you see, it can understand our video. Here, you see, this is what I say in my video. We have many application to use to edit our video, cut video, trim video, stuff like that. And this is the user interface. So maybe you have multiple video, and they can understand multiple video and show the result right here. So this is what they call smart search. For example, they, this is visual content, and we have another option here that is not just the dialogue, but the character or stuff like that. For example, we have a character search. I can search for dog, for example, because I have a an image of a dog inside the media folder so we can search for dog so you see here the name is not dog but it can it can recognize that the image is a dog so it show the dog here okay so i think it's interesting but for me i would not use this very much because whenever i want to find something i would search here so the file name and stuff like that but you can try this feature also okay so that is the second new feature in Filmora 13.6 and the next one is about the image sequence. So now it support importing consecutively number image files and flexibly adjust the frame rate, enhancing creative flexibility and efficiency. But uh, for me, I have no idea how to use it because normally when I have a bunch of different image, I will rename them. And then after that, I import it to Filmora. So now they support image sequence importing, something that is already done i have no idea but if you know how to use it let me know in the comment section okay by the way we go to the media and then we can try to to import yeah let's delete the search here first and we can import for example this is a image sequence or stuff like that i can just click open and import and then i can drag and drop it onto the timeline and so it is the same okay so i have no idea why this is a new feature so if you know it let me know at the comment section okay okay and number four and number five is about all the new effect they provide nine more nine more mosaic effect but i think they are just a big one the one with pinky diamond button here so you don't need to care about it if you have a perpetual license of femora and they also offer more voice changer effect but they are also pinky diamond button effect meaning that you need to pay for film stock subscription to use them so they are here at the effect tab and go to 
audio effect and voice changer so you see here they have vinin phonograph megaphone chipmunk surround style and chuck and cave stuff like that all right so that's everything you want to know about femora 13.6 i hope this video is helpful for you if you have any questions just let me know at the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more femora tips and tricks thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in my next video goodbye